Namaste. You're right. When we practice the techniques of Hatha Yoga, the asana, the pranayama, the bandhan, the mudra, we compress and decompress our cranial cavity. And this leads to the change in the intracranial pressure. And when this happens, the brain relaxes, yeah, and the soma, yeah, the nectar, the CSF, can easily flow through the tiny gaps leading to the mouth. Therefore, towards the end of your practice, yeah, I suggest that you do some tongue exercises because the tongue can collect yeah, that nectar, yeah, so brimming with the healing force. And it's simple. Yeah, just rub the tongue around the mouth, like that, and tracing the gaps. Yeah, you might breathe and uh, release some stagnation in the neck too, and then you swallow. Yeah, so you can absorb and allow yeah, the, the potent force yeah, to nourish the vital organs inside. Yeah, so that completes the practice, actually. Then you do your relaxation, meditation, or you may do your chanting. Yeah. Quick tip, yeah? I'll see you next time. Namaste.